Hello again, everyone. I recently purchased some one-off colors from Ocean Paper. I felt like this, all the sets that they had available um, didn't have the colors that I wanted to supplement the ones that I already have. So I picked out some individual colors and here they are. Uh, they are not labeled on the outside of the little wrapper. So I do have my invoice over to the side so that I know the colors in case they're not labeled. But let's go ahead and get in here and open these up. They should be labeled on the actual pans. Yes, so this is Peony. And then mostly pushing these seems to work to get them out. This one is Silk Gray. Okay. This one's a little tighter. I may have to just rip off the back on this one. <laughs> Oh, there's always that one, right? That's trouble. Okay, so this is magenta. And this one is foliage. And this one is azure. And I didn't have a lot of blues, so I, I uh, got this one and an indigo somewhere in here. Looks like that might be this one. Yes, that's indigo. And then this next one is greenish umber. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in a little bit of color order here, sort of. Um, and then I'm going to swatch all of these for you. So I have a pot of water off to the side and I have a little brush. I'm going to put a dot of water on each of these to kind of get them started. And I will put a link down below to the most recent uh, ocean paper swatching that I did because um, I got a, a full palette that time so that you can see some of the other colors in the line. And I believe that that one also has a link to an, yet another swatching video for ocean paper. But um, I just figured I would swatch these additional ones in case you were interested in these colors. Some of these are in other sets. Uh, and I think some of these are only available as individuals, individual pans. All right. And these usually don't take much to get going. They're quite nice. So this is that really light gray. And I've really been finding these sort of lighter neutrals really useful in painting. Uh, yeah, so this is silk gray. And then I'm gonna go on to the peony. Move these over a little bit. And that's, that's a little brighter than some of the pinks, the other pinks that I have from them. So that's interesting. And it's not showing up as bright on the camera as it is in person. Part of that could be the glare. So I'm gonna tilt this so that you will be uh, able to see it without the glare. I'm, I'm just not doing that because I have these other colors here on the paper. And then this one is magenta. So I think this is a more modern color as they call it, a modern pigment. That one's really bright and nice. I think it's a Quinn magenta. I think that's actually what that says above magenta. It's Quinn magenta, which is quinacridone. Okay, and this next one is Azure. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's a really good blue. And I've really been liking a lot of these lighter blues. Normally I'm very drawn to darker blues, but of late I've, I've actually really been liking these lighter toned blues. I don't know why, maybe, maybe it's because it's summer right now when I'm filming this. So this is indigo, which is also really, really pretty. Got some there on the paper. Really pretty. This, see, this isn't usually more my speed generally, <laughs> but um, well, it looks like I only have space for one more. So I'm gonna put the other one down below. Okay, so this one is foliage. Maybe get a little bit more pigment there. And then this last one is greenish umber. Greenish umber is kind of a diff uh, an interesting color because it shows up differently, I think. See, now this, this is a greenish umber that I really like. 
because this, this actually does show up a little more green. I prefer that where there's a little bit more of a green gold tinge to it. Um, these are all really pretty actually. Oh, and then because it was so wet on the indigo, we're going to have that bleed down a little bit. So this is the um, silk gray, which is kind of hard to make out here as, as uh, but it's, it's showing up darker in real life. And so is the peony here. Um, and I actually think the Quinn Magenta is showing up brighter on the camera. And this one's showing up pretty close to real life, this azure, as is the indigo. And then this is the foliage and then greenish umber. This is actually a really beautiful color. I think this is, this is a really great neutral that would go well in any palette. So there we go. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. It was just a quick one to, to swatch these few that I got. And uh, if you have any questions about this brand or handmade watercolor or anything like that, feel free to ask below and I'll answer when I can. I, uh, if you'd like to <laughs> subscribe to my channel to keep track of future videos, feel free. And uh, if you like this video or enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.